All right, so let's continue with our CSS with this project. We can now go ahead and target the white uh, wrap right over here, okay? So you can see that and then wrap white. We can set the background color to white, okay? And with around 95% from its parent element, padding, let's say padding, I need around 40 pixels. And the position is going to be relative, all right, just like that. 95% is um, its parent element, the parent element of this wrap white is this wrap black, okay? And the parent element of wrap black is the body element, okay? So in the wrap black, we say 60% in relation to the body element. If you will set it to around like 10%, like I think you will not see it here because uh, as you can see like that it's 10% from the body in relation to the body so we will set it to 60% and for the white it's 95% because this is its parent if you will set it to 50% it's like 50% in relation to its parent because its position is relative okay so I hope you I hope that makes sense so right now it's 95 percent all right so let's continue i'm going to target now the close button right here and put this like right over here at the upper uh right hand corner of its parent okay so it's it is called close btn i believe right here copy that and paste it to right over here that close btn Position is going to be absolute from its parent. Top around 40 pixels. See what's happening here. All right. So, and then left around 30 pixels. Uh, I mean right. We, we are trying to put here at the side here. So, it's going to be right. And there you have it. And uh, there's a CSS property called opacity. All right, if you're going to zero, 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 1 is the opaque right now. If you're going to start 0 0.8, it will start to, uh, let's say, 0 0.5. Okay, now it's more transparent. Okay, the opacity is like gray, but actually it's, uh, it's transparency is being, uh, uh, yeah, the opacity is the transparency that is being affected. All right, so uh, maybe around 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. All right, like that. I think that's good. So uh, we're now going to target the list, I believe. Right here, list. This is our unordered list. This is our menu of our website right here. So we're going to target that. We're going to say list. All right, list style. We're going to list style top type. Because right now we don't want this, you know, uh, bullets. So we can say none. Save that. Now the bullets, uh, the bullets disappeared. So padding. Uh, uh, let's set it to zero. Okay. And now we're going to target the li, li inside this list, and also. Uh, let's target that for now. Let's see, CSS. Okay. So we're going to say list li. And we're going to set the margin to 20 pixels. And then that's uh, top and bottom, 0 for left and right. Okay. Let's see what's up. All right, there you have it. There's some spacing now. All right, so the next one is going to be, all right, so it's the same thing, list li. All right, so... Let's see. I think we're, we need to target now the anchor tag inside that list. Okay. So we're going to list li and then a. And we're going to say uh, color around that color. Same color that we used before. Okay. There you have it. So when we click that, let's see. Okay. It's good. We're going to get rid of this underline, right? So we're going to say text decoration, text decoration, uh, none, 
All right, now we don't have underline anymore. Let's set the font size to around 14 pixels. And uh, let's just use text transform again to uppercase. All right. Or, 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 but it was already in uppercase, but yeah. Hold on, it looks like our Ubuntu font is not working. All right, let's set the Ubuntu font family. Uh, Ubuntu, right? Ubuntu sans serif is our fallback font. All right, there you have it. So, uh, all right, so the next one is going to be, let's just see what's happening here. That's A. All right, so we want the same styling with this. All right, we want the same styling with our main navigation with this one right here. So we can just go ahead and say, where is it? Main nav list. We want the same styling with our li and then the a tag, right? So we can just go ahead. We already have it here. Right here. Okay. You can just put a comma here and then target the, the next dev and then the, it's a tag and save that. All right, so now we have the same styling. All right, so you can do this. You can target an, another element. Uh, using the same style, you can just you put a comma here and put the, the, like the, the, the path of what element is it that you're trying to target. And I think we also need it right here, I believe. Okay, so we have some spacing, or or not. Is that right? All right, I think let's leave it there. Uh, it looks good anyway. So uh, yeah, I think we're done with the with the styles here with our. Uh, let's target the UL maybe. Let's put some styling UL, also the main nav list uh, LIUL. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to, um, I think, let's say padding left. Let's see padding left 20 pixels. No, yeah, I think we're good. We can, can just comment that out. So let's try now to have like the uh, responsive. Oh, hold on. We want this to be okay. Hold on. We want the uh, visible property that we want this to appear only if uh, this wrap right here has a visible property. Okay, right, right here. Uh, it can be uh, active if you want, but right now we'll just use visible. So if I'm going to delete it. Okay, right now it doesn't work. Uh, we're going to say if the wrap has a visible property, we're going to say, right now we're going to hide it. Uh, and we're going to put it back. We're going to put it back to zero, all right? Zero. If it has a visible property, let's just type that for now. Is it working? Uh, let's see. CSS translate x uh, zero. All right. Let's see. We comment that out. And this. Hold on. All right. So I think we're gonna be working on the JavaScript to make this uh, appear and disappear. All right, so let me just double check what else are we missing here. Uh, let's just put first, let's just put first the uh, media uh, so that we will make this, you know, uh, we will make this top navigation disappear, all right? So it's going to have a max width property, max width, and then around, uh, if it's like the width of the screen is around 600 pixels, it said the main nav, the main nav is actually the div that is holding the entire navigation here, the entire list. 
okay we're going to set the uh, display property to none all right and uh, let me just uh, activate this code for now so we can see that this will so we can test that this will disappear at around there you have it so the around 600 pixels the our our navigation here will disappear all right all right so see you in the next video for the javascript uh, uh, code so that we can now go ahead and click this and the div will appear and then uh, disappear uh, it, while the user uses our uh, website okay See you in the next one.